Hi everyone, something a little bit different on the channel today. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna compare a couple of toy drones. Now I don't normally do that. My channel is mostly about camera drones and the more expensive drones, but I'll tell you in just a second why I'm doing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare them in five different categories. And those categories are durability, battery life, the controller, the overall value, are you getting what you pay for? And then finally, appearance. Does it look cool? Because let's face it, everyone that gets a drone wants it to look cool. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you which of these two drones that I'm putting head to head is the one that you should get. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this happens to be your first time here, my name is Russ and this is 51 Drones. On this channel, you'll find a variety of drone related content as well as other related technology reviews and tutorials and things like that. So if you enjoy what you see today, consider clicking on the subscribe button. So like I said, I don't normally do toy drone reviews. I'm pretty much into drones for the videography, the photography, the cinematography and everything, all those other agraphies. But there's a couple of reasons that I wanted to start doing this. The first reason is a few weeks ago when I did my Tello Iron Man drone review, I found that I really enjoyed flying that. Especially Especially with the new app that they have. Now if you want to watch that video I'll put it right up here in the note cards you can go ahead and watch that review. The Tello is really probably one of the best toy drones that you can get but there's also a lot of other drones out there especially for beginners. And the other reason that I wanted to start doing this is because when I first started flying drones my very first one was the Mavic Pro and it's a lot of money to spend for your first drone and I'm glad that I did it but when I look back I think it would have served me better to maybe get a cheaper drone first to learn how to fly. And so that's why I wanted to start doing this because there may be some of you who don't wanna spend eight, nine hundred thousand dollars on a drone to learn how to fly a drone. You wanna start with something smaller and less expensive. And also, there's a lot of young people out there now that are trying to get into drones, but their parents don't wanna spend an exorbitant amount of money. And so I thought this was a good idea. Now, do you guys think it's a good idea? Well, you're gonna let me know, dependent upon how this video does. But anyway, let's get to the review. The drones that I got was the E61 from Eashin, it's the E61 mini drone, and the other one was the Cheerwing CW10. Now these are both pretty popular drones on Amazon. The ratings are pretty good, you know, right around four stars, I think, for both of these drones. And I just picked them randomly. The price point was similar, the features looked pretty similar, and they both look pretty cool. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is durability. And when it comes to durability, you want a drone for beginners that's able to take a punch. You want a drone that's able to crash and then pick it up and fly it again and again and again. And the most important thing for durability is the props and the prop guards, if there are prop guards on the drone. Most toy drones do have some type of prop guard, but the majority of them seem to be pretty flimsy. So first of all, let's take a look at the cheer wing. As far as durability, the cheer wing prop guards are actually molded into the drone. They actually are part of the drone, and that's key because they're definitely stronger, they're supported better, with the plastic of the drone. And so when you crash this thing, like I did several times, it doesn't really affect it at all. And the other thing about the cheer wing propellers, they're shorter and they're stiffer plastic. And so even if one of these prop guards happened to break, I think that a propeller could take that hit. Now, when you compare that to the Eashin, to the E61, the props and the prop guards are both very flimsy. The prop guards basically have no purpose. They're very thin, they're very breakable, and the first time that we crashed this, I crashed it once and then my son crashed it, we broke a propeller and a prop guard. Broke. A propeller broke. Uh-oh. All right, better change that. So thankfully, both of these drones come with four extra props in the box, but if you're gonna crash it every time you fly and those props don't hold up, you're gonna get maybe three or four crashes out of it. So when it comes to durability, I definitely give the win to the cheer wing. Now the next thing that I wanna talk about is battery life or flight time. I flew both of these for about a week and I took one day just to check flight time. I flew two times indoors and two times outdoors with both of these drones. And I do wanna say that right now, these are not meant to be flown outside. These are indoor flyers. If you wanna fly these drones outside and many other toy drones, you want to have zero wind. It was five miles per hour when I was flying these and they flew around like a dead leaf in the wind. And so if you're gonna fly outside with these drones, make sure it's zero wind, like maybe really early in the morning or late in the evening and the wind is completely gone. Otherwise, only fly these inside. But anyway, after four flights of checking the flight time, the average flight time on the Eashin 
E61 was 6 minutes and 48 seconds, and the average flight time for the cheer wing for those four flights was exactly six minutes. So you're getting a little more flight time out of the Eachine. Now, the greatest thing about the E61 is that it has removable batteries. And the package that I got, the straight up E61 package, comes with two batteries in it. And so you're actually doubling your flight time. You're getting about 14 minutes of flight time. And then also you're able to charge the batteries externally with the included micro USB cable. Whereas with the cheer wing, with the CW10, you have to plug the cable directly into the drone and charge it that way. And so you have to charge the cheer wing after every flight. With the Eashing, you can flight repeatedly if you have extra batteries. So for battery life, definitely the Eashing wins. The next thing that I wanna talk about is the controllers. Now, first of all, we're gonna take a look at the cheer wing controller. It's a very simple design. It's a smaller controller, which is great for young people. And the other thing that's great for young people and new pilots is it's not complicated at all. It's very simplistic design. There's not too many buttons to confuse you. And it's actually a pretty solid little remote. And the thing that I like the best about it is its simplicity. When you're just learning how to fly, I think it's important to not have too many things to confuse you and too many things that can be overwhelming. And so the cheer wing remote control is perfect for those new flyers. On the other hand, when you look at the E61, the Eshing controller, there's a lot of buttons on it and the bad thing about it is none of them are labeled. I mean, obviously you know which one is the power button, but there's four buttons on the left, four buttons on the right, and then you have the two trigger buttons, and you really don't know what any of those are for. Now you can read their manual and learn what they're for, but for a young flyer or new pilot, you're gonna get out, start flying this, and you're not gonna remember what these buttons are for. And so I think the complexity of the E61 is not great for new pilots or young pilots. On the other hand, once you learn how to fly a drone more, I think it's nice to have those extra buttons. The buttons on the right-hand side of the controller for the E61 are for fine-tuning your trim, and that's nice to have those available. To adjust the trim on the cheer wing, you actually have to push the left button and then set your trim and then push it again. So there's benefits to both methods, but I think the Eashin is just a little too complicated for new pilots. Now, the other thing when it comes to controlling the drone, the cheer wing actually has an app called Flying C that you can download to your mobile device, and then you can fly the cheer wing with your mobile device. And that's really nice, um, not only because it's fun to control with your mobile device, but you also get a few more options uh, when it comes to maneuvering the drone. For instance, a couple of the more impressive ones are the swipe to fly, so you can draw a design on your mobile device and then the drone will move in that manner. Or it has the gyro control where you can move your mobile device and however you move your device, that's how the drone is controlled. Now, those are cool and they're fun, but they're also very unpredictable. So if you use either of those features, expect your chair wing to crash. The E61 model, the box that I got, the package that I got, is just the straight up E61. There's no Wi-Fi and there's no camera, so you can't control it with a mobile app. But they do have an HW version, the E61HW, which is Wi-Fi controlled and does have a camera. Let's talk about that just a little bit. The chair wing camera, very, very tiny. Shoots 480p video and 0.3 megapixel photos, which is pretty much useless. Now I don't have a camera or the Wi-Fi control for the E61, but I did watch a few videos online and it looks like the image quality and the photo quality that comes out of the E61HW is comparable to that which you get from the CW10. So overall, when it comes to controller between these two, between the straight up E61 and the Cheerwing CW10, I'm gonna give the win to the cheer wing. And the number one reason for that is its simplicity. Having a smaller controller with less to confuse you is better. The next thing we're gonna talk about is value. Now these are similarly priced. The uh, At the time of this video, the cheer wing sells for $39.99 US dollars and the E61 sells for $31.99 US dollars. Both great value. The E61 comes with two batteries and so that's an additional value for a cheaper price. But the cheer wing comes with Wi-Fi control, the app, and the camera. Now, like I said, you can get the E61HW, which does have the app and the camera, and it's only a few dollars more. I think it's $2 more, so it's like $42 for that version. So side by side, those two are pretty much the same when it comes to value. But when comparing these two that I have, I would give the win for value to the E61 simply because it comes with those two batteries. And you're ultimately gonna get more flight time because you can charge them externally. And finally, when it comes to appearance, that one is easy. I'm gonna give that one to the E61 because it pretty much looks like a miniature Mavic Air. And I think kids would love that. Now, which one of these two little toy drones would I get 
if I had to make a choice between them. The Cheerwing is more durable, it has the app, it has the camera, it has fun control features, and it has a simple design controller. The E61 on the other hand is a little less durable, but it has a longer flight time, it comes with extra batteries, it has a couple of little LED lights on the front which helps with orientation, and it looks really cool. Out of the two of them, if I had to pick, I would choose the E61. And the biggest reason for that is the removable batteries and the ability to charge them externally. Step it up to the E61 HW and it's even better. Either way, both of these are great starter drones. They're great fun for kids. My kids enjoy flying them. Now that I'm done with my video, they're gonna enjoy flying them even more. So I think if anyone wanted to get either of these, they would be making a good choice. There are product links down in the description where you can purchase these items. And if you do use those, it does benefit the channel. Now, what I'd like to ask all of you is a little bit of a favor. Let me know, is this something that you'd like to see on a regular basis? And if you would, are there a couple of drones that maybe you'd like to see me compare? Now, I'm not looking to compare the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Air, you know, those expensive drones. What I'm looking for is maybe there's a couple of drones that you're kind of narrowing it down to that are around that $100 range or less and you can't decide which one and you'd like to see somebody do a comparison. If you have a couple in mind, put them down in the comments and maybe I'll do it. If you have any questions about either of these drones, let me know those in the comments as well. If you got anything of value out of this video, please click on the thumbs up button. I wanna thank you for watching today and as always, fly safe and fly smart.